Welcome back everyone to Pony Plays the Bjorning. And today you'll see they slightly changed the opening while they did Yeah, there it is. Standing Stone Games presents The Lord of the Rings Online. That's right, today we had the announcement that the Dungeons and Dragons Online team and the Lotro team has split off from Turbine. I know they still got these things here on some of their old screens. I guess they'll have to fix that in the future. But they have split off from Turbine and the development team on those areas are now their own studio. So therefore we'll continue to get Dungeons and Dragons Online and Lotro by the same people, but they will no longer be working for Turbine or for Warner. And I see that even the Lotro Points, formerly known as Turbine Points, area now has a standing stone icon instead of a turbine icon. But now let's head in the game and start today's episode. We are now in game and it looks like the Yule Festival is here also. Alright, very well. Let's just get our map and head on our way, but I think for now we will be staying down here in Gondor rather than worrying about trying to turn things into Yule here. Now, we want to find Jarl Girthim and find out what happened to him because he was not at the views of Cormadon as we had expected. Cormalin and let's see if he's anywhere nearby. And we've got occasional river toads around here, but ah, oh, I think I found him. Hello. Hmm. Looks like you encountered some opposition on your way. Hello there, Jarl. Hmm. This was no chance encounter. I do not blame you for failing to keep these men from our company, for they were searching for us, and us alone. You shall have your reward yet, but I must alter our arrangement in light of these events. Uh, do not fear any treachery on my part, Pineclaw, for your reward does not lie in question. In fact, it can only grow greater. Okay, I guess that's not bad. We have been betrayed. We were paid half of our share to travel to the fields of Gondor, and now the Kundalar have sent assassins to slay us before we could return home. Only the lord that brought, bought our blaze could have arranged such an ambush, and his name is Zarhal Kaz. He is a coward among Easterlings, but his wealth grants him all the power he desires. He offered us the remainder of our share upon our return, but it's clear that he didn't intend for us to survive long enough to demand the rest of the gold. My men will hold his position, but we have need of a scout, and after all, you are still in our service, yes. Search the surrounding lands for signs of the Kundalar or their assassins. Then we shall see them about taking our gold back and then taking quite a bit more and then my friend you shall have a reward fitting of a king so I need to search the north of your old company search to the east and search to the west alright I suppose we could do that and I guess we will go west first since that's where our little arrow is pointing us Down this way. Hmm, I don't see anything. All quiet on the western front. Yep. All quiet down this. Oh, wait a moment. Did I see something move in that shrubbery? Let's check it out. Anything there? Aha! So, that's the way of it, is it? 
Trixie Trixie. Yeah, let's get that up. That up. Quack, 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 quack. Oh, yeah, I'm still working on that quest, aren't I? The Grip of Mortar, which, of course... Actually, I'll just set this as my... Quest set as quest guide focus. Okay, fine. And maybe I should... Go back into human form and continue on my way. Where now... Uh, I don't feel like going against that river toad. Of course, that river toad seems to be trying to intercept us. <laughs> oh, well, the buck isn't going to try to attack us unless we stay near it too long. Oh, wait, there's something here. Hmm, that looks like... Oh. A slain Variag. Interesting. It's an easterling blade. Hmm. Quite interesting. What's that all about? Well, we'll have to find that out later. Next, let us head this way and see what's to the north. Or, I mean, the east. <sighs> Getting my directions all fouled up, aren't I? Well, let's see. Anything around here that looks suspicious? Nothing so far. There's a worm here. Not much else. Maybe there isn't anything here. I suppose that's possible. Just flies and bucks. and worms all sorts of things and I don't think there's anything else here well oh hold on what's that a mauled doe hmm now who'd maul a doe I really don't know, but I think it's time to report back and tell them what I saw. The attackers, I'm sure, would interest them, and the slain Easterling should. I'm not too sure about the doe, but, well, let's see what they have to say. I have my report. Ooh, the fool he is. I will not suffer such an insult to my people and my skill. You send a pitiful band of assassins to slay warriors of Khand? Ha! <laughs> you have sent flies to destroy a foundation of steel. This is no longer about returning home. I shall not rest until Zarkal Kaz lies dead at my feet and his riches are in my keeping. Ooh. We have no time to waste, Spineclaw. Every moment we delay allows Zerkal cause a chance to bolster his defenses or flee. Yet, he is fool enough to have camped within these very lands. That's right. He dwells in a camp called Uya Hulium, and his defenses are built into the slopes of the Mountain of Shadow. There are two ways by which you can approach Uya Hulium. The first is through the pass of Kirithnegen. Zargal Kaz may be a fool, but none will estimate its value as an ideal spot for an ambush. We cannot go by that way. The second way is along the western road, which snakes northward towards the Dagerlad and then forks to the east, to the base of this encampment beyond the pass of Kirithnegen. This is the path we must take. And we must move now. If you wish to follow us, you need not fear the Kunadar as you travel. My men and I shall make sure that Zarkal Kaz knows we are coming, and that his warriors cannot stop us. 
All right. So we will head out and meet you along the way. It appears that the Jarl's company has cleared a path for us by killing some of the other Easterlings. Well, that's promising. So let's see what else we run into along the road. It appears that the trail of bodies now leads to the northeast a bit. Yeah, just follow the bodies all along. Oh. Hello there. Uh, I see that you've pruned the enemies along the way. It is all led to this. Across the river, our foe cowers behind his men, but he cannot hide from us any longer. The time has come to have our revenge upon Lord Zakar Kaz. By now, he must know we come for him. His scouts have been slain, his warriors cut down, and his archers split upon the roads. A coward to the last, he would sooner throw his own sons before us than face his death. Ooyahuyum snakes upward into the mountains of shadow, and I would wager that he has taken refuge deep within their encampment. The Kundalore will not surrender, so we must cut our path through them. Their master has brought shame to their order, and they will share in his fate. It is our way, and it shall be done. This is not your battle. So do not think that you must aid us in this final task. If you do, though, we shall share the re you shall share the reward. Will you join us? Trade by the Kundala, Jarl Gulthim and his company now seek to punish their treacherous benefactor and seek the gold that was promised them. All right, then let's go. Are you prepared? The blades of my men have tasted much of the blood of the Kundalar. But our foe eludes us still. A coward to the last, I do not doubt. We shall press onward into the mountainside, and soon there shall be nowhere left for him to hide. Ready your arms, and let us go. All right, I'll... I guess I can do that. Everything ready? All right, let's go. We have battled through many Kundalar already, and it shall not be long before they bolster their numbers. Let us go. All right. And let's go. Let's see how this works. Okay, maybe I should try oh, this cat. Well, we can. Oh, well. We can do that too. Oh, this gives me credit for that quest. Yay! Yeah, I might actually be able to finish that off before the series ends. Right? Are you ready to go? Oh, look ahead, Jarl. A lord's tent. Zara Kaz must be there. But would he, great fool, to have left himself defenseless? Pineclaw, if we are ambushed, you must continue the fight. He cannot escape alive. All right. Well, an ambush? Oh, what a shock. Let, let's get this done. Let's get this done quickly. And we will kill many of these. And you won't be able to bear it for long. Yeah. Oh. Hey, you! Alright, we'll try it that way. Uh, 
And there we go. Boy, I'm sounds like I'm getting credit for the ones that they kill, which is Alright, I'm gonna make sure I think I should just wait for them or something like that. There we go. Cause whenever I run ahead I just get things fouled up. I'm not too sure which side I'm slapping right now. Okay, well, I finished that quest. Hey! Oh, there's, there's, there's another one here. Okay. Onward! Alright, which side are we going to go for? They're waiting for me, or I mean, that that'd be an innovation to wait for me. Oh, there's a sorcerer here! Ah, of course, they're going against Easterlings. Why shouldn't I expect a sorcerer in here, here or there? Ah, I can't stand those guys. I can't see. Oh, come on! There we go. Well, the Jarl seems to be alright so far, so that's good. Whack him down! Alright. Misty Chatter Within. Die, Kundalar Filth! Alright, here we go. Yonka! Oh, good. Zarko Kaz, it is time you are coming to repay the debts of blood and gold. Come forth, coward, or your tent burns. Hmm. Girthim, stop this! Why have you come? To kill him, of course. Do not play coy, cause it does not suit even one as lowly as you. You have slain my brethren, broken our deal, and cheated us of our just reward. You failed in your task. Do not put the blame on me. As I heard it, you deserted the battle. I robbed you of nothing. But the chance to shed your dishonor and death. You were given what you deserved. A bounty of gold and what should have been a swift death upon your return. Your people were fools to remain on the fields in the final hours of battle morn. Then as nothing greater than that. You and the rest of your virag dogs do not deserve to kneel before my people. For we, I owe you no mercy, brigand. I shall send you as slaves. Oh, you speak true. The time for mercy is done. Yeah, let's let's go. Who am I? Oh, of course. Of course, there'd be some people inside here. What did you expect? Let's go, 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 go. Oh, I think it's time to bear up a bit. Yeah, whack him! He's running out of guards! Yeah, yeah, he's out of guards. Okay, now back, back in proper form. Let's get this up here. Some bees. Some healing. What else do we need? Oh, let, let's get some fury, wrath, or whatever it's called. There you go. Stop this! We want vengeance! Uh, I think he's gonna go down. He's down. 
Zarkar calls, slain amidst his wealth of gold and tr yeah, 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 he, he seems to prize gold quite a bit. The day is won. Let us be gone from this place. And what's next? We'll find that out in the next episode of Piney Plays The Beorny.